Hello and welcome back to the Great Patriotic War. Last time we handed in our multiplayer turn, so this time we're back in our single player. And we're kind of be going to be doing the same thing, but, uh, you know, a month later. Um, so at this point, Smolensky is just about to fall. Um, and so we're trying to, you know, rearrange some stuff so that it falls in a graceful way instead of just a complete shattering this time. Um, so the only difference is in this playthrough, we, we have this huge force over here that came right at us. And we kind of had to pull back from that. And I'm considering pulling back even further and just um, just sending these guys at this air base to the rear. Uh, this thing is completely destroyed. But like this air base here is now in real, real danger. Um, so I'm thinking, thinking that we want to try to get a hell out of here. What is assigned to this? Oh, that's why I can't see it. Yeah, so let's just send them to the reserve. Just get them out of here. I'm just so nervous of them being up there. I think we'll probably hold Bryansk. Um, but even like these, these groups here, we'll send all of them back to the reserve just in case I really should have done that in my air turn, but I think I was just exhausted at that point. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. Um, so now the question is, what do we do here? Do want to kind of move some move some more stuff up to further north here. So the only complicating factor of this is that we now have a lot less um, a lot less stuff to work with in terms of our generals. We are going to try to build a little bit of a defense here. Okay, and then we're going to bring some stuff further north. Because we, we want them to do... That's such a good tile there. What we want them to do is to try to attack our lines when they're not really prepared. And we want to send them through places where uh, they can get through, but it'll cost them a lot of movement points. So like sending them into the swamp is great because yeah they can get through there but it'll cost the movement points. What we don't want to give is a whole bunch of clear hexes. And I'll figure out the general ship after after this but what I'm thinking is maybe even stacking this guy. Well, maybe I'll just put him behind it. And we could just move this thing up here. I'll keep him in range of most of that, and we'll give this to some general over here. Either the 13th and the 19th Army, whichever one is better. 
Oh, well, actually, 44 rifles. This guy's not bad at all. Let's give him the 44th rifles. If he's not full. Uh, it would put him over. Uh, what about the 13th army that he reports to? Is that guy any good? Filatov. Uh, yeah, he's not bad. Let's give him the 13th army. And let's give this guy to the 13th army as well. And then let's make sure 13th army has some support. Now that they've got some units directly reporting, we want them to have plenty of support. Give them some artillery. Yeah, that's good. And we reassigned a lot of that stuff last time. Now we want to move kind of everything up a little bit in the line. Because what we want to do is try to fall back from that uh, infantry right there. Without having to fight it. So we just want to kind of give up Gamel. Is this thing worth saving? Oh, yeah, that's 100% worth saving. Okay, let's... Okay, so Gamel. Let's take the guy from Gamel and assign him to... Um, where's the next airfield, I guess? This thing? Yeah, let's assign him to that. That's where we'll make our next stand. Okay, so from Gamel, we take you. I think that's all we had there, right? Just one, okay. All right, so then everything else here we wanna put on the other side of this river. Just try to like start setting up a bit of a defense here. I mean, if they'll fall for it, I'll take them. I'd be ecstatic if they would want to walk into here. That'd be amazing. Oh my god. Those guys are a little bit spread out, huh? These guys are very spread out. Jeez, there's just no good place to put him. This is definitely going to have to be reassigned to either the 4th Airborne or move the Central Front to there. 10th Army is here. So I guess we'll move the 10th Army further north up to here. And then we'll have this guy over to the 10th Army. And where was that other, this one? Uh, well, okay, 21st Army. 
I definitely want to come back behind the line here. Yeah, so let's reassign all this stuff to the 10th Army. I know we're almost at its limit already. Do we have another army around? We could use the Arel of the 29th Army. Let's do that. What does this guy have for support? Nothing. Let's give him some artillery. And an anti-tank unit. Because we've got some anti-tank here. That needs doing. Uh, I do like that location, but I also want to hold behind it. I'd like to bring up something else, but I don't know. Let's give this over to purple. Forty-third Army. Wow, you're really far away, huh? Did that overstack him now? Yeah, he's up to twenty-three. All right, this guy's got to go to white, which would be like the thirteenth Army, I guess. All right, let's see how that works. All right. Now we want to fall back a little bit further here. These must be pretty effed up at this point. Yeah, there's not much left here. We've got a lot of shattered stuff down here. I wonder if I can... if I'll have enough movement points to do this. Well, not with... Oh, they're just not ready. Okay. So I'm not going to have enough movement points to attack. So let's just follow these guys back. I mean, they're going to be focused on that pocket. All right, that might give us enough time to get some of this stuff out of here. All right, let's get... Oh, man, Kiev is a lot worse off than in this one, but, I mean, we are a month later, so... Let's fall back to the next river line. With whatever we can get. The problem here is we'd have nothing, a lot less stuff than I was expecting. Overall, I mean, just kind of don't have anything. Can't even disband these things. Let's 
you and Kersong. So let's get both of you and Kersong. Kersong. Start building up a little fortification there. We're going to reassign this guy to something else. Uh, I guess the coastal army. We'll reassign this to, I guess, that southern front. It's pretty close. We can't even walk out of there. Wow. They're just completely trapped. Shocking how badly I'm doing in this one. I gotta get people into those forts. Yikes. I want to keep these guys kind of together. What I don't want to happen is to just have them waltz in there with no defense. Make sure both of those are on refit. Let's get this to the other side. Put this on refit. Just some really, really scary stuff here. A lot scarier than I thought it would be, actually. Jesus. Uh, let's 
So like a lot of these things are like, where do you even put things? Sometimes you just can't get anyone far enough, far enough away. Just because they've been doing so much fighting, they're all exhausted as hell. Alright, these two are going to have to hold the line for us. They're two of our only ready tank units. So that puts a lot of things in blue. That's what we like to see. Um, I mean, I think we got to kind of cut our losses with those. Let's get to the other side of the river. Like the mountain lads are on their own, I think, right now. As much as it pains me. I don't know what I'm going to do with this thing. I guess we'll have it help defend Crimea. Maybe it'll be useful down there. Who knows? Ugh. Gross. Is this thing even eating my supply up? Get the hell out of here. All right. Well, let's see if any of this... Any of this will survive. I think we've done a adequate job of resetting things here. So let's spend the rest of our money and then turn the turn. So what we know is we need, let's build five more of these because we could really use them. Actually, Trying to consider something else. I want to be at the limit for this, so let's build 12 of these. Can you only build 10 at a time? Why can I? 12. All right, it only lets me build 10. Then we do it too. All right, so we'll fill those out. Anything that's free, we might as well do. 
Uh, is this thing even worth it? Some dishkas? Not really. And what else might we want a little bit of? Our 5 AP. We could build another separate tank regiment. I don't, I don't know how useful those are. So I think what I'll, I will build is some anti-tank regiments. Well, actually, let's build some anti-tank battalions. Let's build... Let's build three of these and then two anti-tank regiments. Okay, now let's do our reinforcements. Oops. Theater box, uncheck, Soviet reserves. And we'll set our TOE to be 90 and higher. Uh, 132. We've got a lot of these engineers, which I like to see. But let's deselect them for now. Um, we'll we'll bring a we'll bring a bunch in, but. Not all of them just yet. I'll deselect this. Um, so that leaves us with all of this stuff. And I really want to just bring in a whole bunch of stuff into the south. Because the south is absolutely shot right now. So as long as none of this is getting disbanded anytime soon. Um... We will, uh, this thing is, so can we just send this early so it doesn't clog me up? So what is that? Uh, that's this, this one here? Yeah. So let's just transfer, oh, I can't even transfer it to the map. Damn. Let me do this. Let's just transfer everything to the map. And then as far as construction goes, let's see. If we do the highest number, I think is 49, maybe. That gives us a good amount. Transfer those to the map. There we go. All right, and then we want to set, let's turn the rail thing off. Let's turn the victory points off. We want to set this as our arrival hex because we're going to need um, need some stuff to start holding the line over here. What do we have? That's the 18th Army. Um, we'll move you a little bit closer so they can all go to you. You or who else do we have? What's another good army? Um, Let's check for HQs that don't have anything assigned to them. Let's see, so combat units attached zero to zero. And we only want to see armies and cores. No air, no amphibious, and no higher. Okay, we want only zeros. 
Oh, and obviously on the map. Okay. We're going to attach this guy to that nearby army. How is he actually? Because he's usable. Can we move Kharkov? Yes, we can. Not that we need to quite yet, but we can move him next turn if need be. And let me see if I can find one more. So that's way up. Those are all on the Leningrad front. How about this third army? Where are you? And who are you? I would like to kind of get this guy back into the fray here. what I was doing over here. So let's just stick it in the lucky looky itself. I feel like he might end up being useful down here near Baronsk. So let's give him to the Central Front. Central Front could use another army. All right. Cool. Let's save this up and then we'll turn the turn and we'll see what happens. We'll enter the seventh week of the war. Not too, uh, not too pleased with the way this one is going compared to our multiplayer game, but it's a lot earlier, and I mean, in some ways, I am happy at least we have Smolensk skill still. Um, but I'm just getting a little nervous in the south. The south is a lot worse off than it could be. So, let's turn the turn. See what happens. But that was a fun turn. I like I like the game a lot more now that it's getting to the point where you you got more armies to play with, and you can start um, not so much organizing, but you can get things more stable, which is more fun for me. Because as much as I love the the chaos of the the early game. I do want to get to a point where like I can look down the line and know what the heck I'm looking at, you know. So and I'd eventually like to organize the armies with some colors and you know, make it look good. Not just like a, a giant Charlie Fox drat all over the place here. Um But I think the lessons learned in the air war and in the defensive lines early in this game are, are huge. Like I already feel like I've completely changed the way I'm thinking about 
um, where I'm placing guys and and what I'm valuing. I'm definitely valuing. Um, yes, I I now value defending cities a little bit more than I than I thought I would. Just because they have such great stats for defense, and especially against tanks, and I'm also valuing, you know, being mobile and and being able to reorganize when when possible, and just and pulling back. Something that I think in this game, I, I think I fought a little bit too much, especially last turn on on turn six and five. I think I fought a little bit too much in retrospect and I wish I had played it a little safer are they actually flying some missions I haven't seen that in a while but we're just going to let this turn run and then Next time, we will rejoin our multiplayer game. Uh, I got an email saying that got the turn in, so we will be able to play that. It's funny, like originally I was thinking that was kind of going to be the sideshow and that this would still be the main, the main game, but I don't think that's going to be the case. I think this will be the sideshow for sure and maybe even abandoned at some point because oh geez well at least it routed out of the pocket that's weird just like teleported out of the pocket hmm. didn't really expect that held wonderful treated okay Northern Front is definitely a little sketchy. So they've been able to advance two or three hexes so far into our lines. But now that they've made their initial breakthrough, they'll probably make it further. Unless, of course, they choose not to. It's only through blood and sacrifice that the Radina is protected. I think what's actually being evaluated here is at the bottom of our view. Like I don't think we can even really see what's going on. It's kind of like that battle around Valaki Luki right now. It's weird the AI is is much less aggressive in some ways than than what the multiplayer version of this is. Like they don't seem to all in attack as often. Damn, that guy lost a lot of men in one attack. Let's see what happens in the south if we all get wiped out. At least they're not surrendering. Surrendering instantly, anyways. Jeez, they're so fast. Tanks are so scary.
Well, I think overall that week seven will be very interesting. We'll start really seeing if our long-term strategy is going to be viable here. Um, not so sure. I think we've, we've had maybe one too many snafus early on, especially in the South, to really hold on until we get our mass reinforcements in. But pretty much what we're going to be doing in both these, both the single player and multiplayer is um, really focusing on trying to learn more about the air war and getting things more set and steady. So this turn was you know, a pretty brutal high combat turn. We lost 61,000 men. But I think we actually did a little bit better overall. Um, I'll just quickly show the losses screen. So on this turn, we lost 61,000 men. They lost about 20,000, a little under. Um, we only lost 80 tanks. Uh, so the tanks were actually pretty close to even. You know, they lost, it was, it was close two to one, which is as close to even as you can get this early on. So that's good. Um, and then overall in the whole war so far, the men, the Axis have lost 117,000. We've, we've lost 1.1 million. So, so literally 10 to 1 losses. But what, what we're, you know, the, we're trending in the right direction. Down, which is good. Um, as long as we don't get huge encirclements, we'll, we'll survive, I think. But this was a, a, a closer turn. You know, they, they obviously didn't hit us quite as hard as they have in the previous turns. But this is one of the numbers that I'm really interested in, is that we, we did lower that, that number, but they, they just overall lost a lot less. It was a much less active turn. In the previous turn, they lost 200 armored fighting vehicles. So that, that is significant. It's not insignificant. And the air war has dwindled to basically hardly any action at all in this last turn and i don't know what the deal is it's like they they just don't fly their planes as much i feel like the nazis flew their planes a lot more they were running a lot of missions even in the end of july they're trying to win the war fast they weren't playing the long game so i don't get that with the ai um it just doesn't seem like they have the same sense of urgency that you would expect but i don't know We'll find out, I guess. Maybe there's a trigger point. Like uh, sometime in August, they'll just start using their planes again. Who knows? It just seems like they're not flying missions that I would expect them to be flying. And all we get this turn is uh, there's some partisans in Belarus. That's a really cool picture, actually. That's a really cool picture. That's a cool one, too. I saw that in a book. Um, so that's where we'll leave this one. At the start of the seventh week of the war. We've made it to August. We survived July somehow. Oh, we survived July, actually, with both Smolensk and Kiev still intact. Um, somewhat shocking to me, almost. Yeah, there is a way you can see when they're supposed to fall. I forget. I, I've i turned it on in the past. But I forget what the... Oh, uh, this one. So... Smolensk is ac was actually supposed to fall on July 16. Which is kind of when it fell in our multiplayer game. And then, 
Let's see, when is some of this stuff supposed to fall? This was supposed to have fallen July 13th, July 31, August 16th. So they're behind schedule in the north for sure. Like They were really supposed to spread out a lot faster. But we've offered some stronger resistance than they were expecting, I think. And then in the south, I'm pretty sure that they're also behind schedule. Because they were at the gates of Kiev um, a lot earlier. Um, let's just turn the air groups off for a second. Well, I guess they didn't capture Kiev until mid-September, but they had it encircled for quite a while. But you can see that the, the strongest part of the defense of Kiev was in the north. And they actually had to come around behind it. And you can you can see the these dates, that's when they were doing things. They were they were coming around behind Kiev. They just left it, encircled it and then left it, which is what they're hundred percent gonna be able to do if we can't organize up a little bit. I'd really love to get something into these woods here relatively soon. So but that'll be a mission for next time. How long does this hold on for? Kursan fell in August 19. So only what, another two turns. This stuff fell a lit very early, actually, for us. So that's not great. But we had such a just a such a disaster down here that we weren't able to to stop them which sucks but I've learned a little bit more about the game since then so I'm hoping that we'll start figuring things out let's see how those reinforcements look where the hell are the reinforcements did I not call them in oh wait there's a delay okay so they, they come in next turn not this turn. Which will be just in time. So where did my reinforcements come in? I guess they all came in up here. Shit. Uh, whoops. Hmm. I gotta get better about that. It's the second time I've done that. Accidentally placed reinforcements where I didn't mean to. I mean, I'm happy to have them in the north. North is important too. But I'd rather have them in the south right now. I just, I haven't reinforced the south once. But we'll figure it out. And that will be next time. So, till then. See ya.